All right, so welcome to this uh, free website design uh, masterclass. My name is Ayola Palola. I want to show you how to use pagecarton.com to create your website free and easy. So we're, I'm going to try to finish all this in 30 minutes if I can. So let's get to business. So to, to get uh, your free website, you start from going to www.pagecarton.com okay so once you are on pagecarton.com you proceed to create a free website that is if you don't have an existing account if this is your first time coming here you go to create a free website then you enter your email address uh, which is let's say at Iowa. Then your username could be Falala and password. Then you continue. So it's this takes you to your admin panel directly, and um, which is basically some of the basic options you have online so what i want to do straight away is to go and create a new site and uh, I, i'm going to give it a name what site i want to create a website for my business uh, so i'm a car dealer so i'll say buy a car that's my site name so the site URL will be buy a car dot page hat on dot com. Now that's a temporary, that's your temporary domain name, uh, that you can be using for free for life. So then I'm gonna go to new website wizard. This one is going to guide me into creating, personalizing my website. So on the new site wizard, you say complete a new website in these simple steps. So the first step is basic information. So I'm going to click on basic information here to update the basic information. So my headline is buy a car in Nigeria. And the description is to use to get a description. I can just go to Google to get the perfect description i'm gonna do a research on the kind of um, words i can use on my website so i'll do a quick search on google and i'll say buy a car in nigeria um, so so i'm you see all this is what i'm going to use say find your new or used car okay so find your new or used car then I'll just look for a description that fits what I want to do sell your car and upgrade a new car model by contacting a new car something like that okay something that just describes I can just sit down and compose one by myself but you know then I look for a banner image. My banner image could be anything. So I can also look for this one on Google. Okay, I like this. So I'm going to click on this picture. Mm, it should be a picture that is very big, you know, so that it will not crop, it will not be blurry on your website. Okay, so I'm going to save. Um, this is a GIF image. It's not that's not the best kind of image. Let's see if we can find another one. This time we we'll look for something big. This is this is okay. So now this is my banner image. Okay. 
then brand logo so I'm gonna if I have my logo on my computer I'll just click on upload and I'll look for it here um, it could be anything but let it be your logo something a logo that describes your business if you don't have one you can contact a logo designer to get one for you um, so I'm just gonna use one random logo from my computer also your fave icon is something that appears is what will appear on like all these icons now it's a fave icon so you may want to change it to the same thing you use with your logo you can use it for fave icon for fave icon should be uh, a usually by 64 pixel by 64 pixel so once you're done now the theme type now is to tell you whether the kind of website you want to build whether it's a personal website a corporate website a blog or an e-commerce website because this is for a business okay so i'm going to use corporate business so i'm going to click on continue once that is done the basic information is done it's taking me to browse themes so um, i'm going to choose from hundreds of great themes for your site i'm going to click on browse themes and it's going to load right now a number of themes available that i can select for my website okay there are tons of themes available and then we are making even more themes available in the coming weeks so you click one let me use this one travelers and I, I'm going to click on install and I'll install theme. And once the installation is completed, it will ask me to set as default theme. Okay. So basically it's asking me to choose a theme as a default. I want so to make, I'm going to make that theme the default theme traveler this is it right here so i'm going to select it and uh, i can change the background color and the font color but I'm, we're not going to deal with that now let me just save the theme as the default theme when done with that we are one step that we can skip is the create content but i mean let's let's go over it okay so this allows me to set the organization name, the short description about the organization, more about the organization, brief history, and most of uh, really static content on my website. Okay, so my the name of my business is Buy a Car Niger, and the description is. I'm going to leave all these ones the way it is. I'm sure or you want to change it. So my street address is 10 Road 9 Adeni Jones Ikeja Lagos Nigeria and my phone number I'll put it here. My email address could be at buycarniger.com and then I'll change the Facebook, Instagram. I'll just basically change all information. This theme also allows me to link to an explainer video. Okay. Now this one is going to YouTube. I can I can change this one to a YouTube uh, video that um, that describes my my uh, business. Okay. So I click on continue. And this one tells me straight to start publishing. But before I start publishing, right, let me, uh, there's a link here that allows me to preview my site so I know exactly how my site looks right now. So I'm going to click on preview site and it's going to open in a different tab. This will show me what my site looks like right now. Okay. So now this is it. Now look how my logo is here placed, right? Then I'm seeing all the menu in place i'm seeing but i'm seeing a lot of dummy content like the content is 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 dummy content so um so this is the way my site looks right now okay now let me 
start pop let me, let me now begin to publish content okay so to do that you click start publishing and you say tell us about yourself first you do not have a profile on your account okay so i'm gonna just this is the name that is going to be showing whenever i post probably a blog post or something it will say by Ayola, Falola, things like that. So I can put my profile description and everything. And I can, uh, I'm going to change the display picture to my picture. Um, yeah. Okay. I can use any picture I want, actually. Um, okay. For the purpose of this tutorial, let me borrow twins picture this is my style then I'll click on continue oh it says someone I've used uh, let me just change the handle the handle is where the personal a, a page for this particular profile so that all the posts on that profile will appear on that page now this is what I'm going to see for uh, when I want to publish, okay, so it's gonna tell, it's telling me, it's giving me different kinds of category of posts I can publish on the website. I, I can add slideshows, which is what is displaying over here. Then I can add posts, which is like a, like a normal post. I can add services. I can add this is like blog post, right? Then the services is like things that we do, like what we do. Then testimonials, if I have testimonials like from what my clients are said about our business, then you have products, then you have article, then you have team members. So team members is where you can add your team members um, so that you can display on the site. So first I'll go into the slideshow. Click on, on the add a new item. It's going to ask me to put a title. So my title is get your car now okay i can put a description this is how let us help you sell let us help you get your dream car so now the cover photo is the photo that is going to show in the um slideshow okay so for this as well I can come here to to get to get the photograph okay so um, I'm trying to look for the right car These cars are not large. I mean, these pictures are not large. I need to look for a large picture. So I'm going to come here to more tools and then I'll look for sizes, large. This will help me get large pictures. So let's see if we can use this one. Mm, I like, I love this. So I'm going to save. Um, this. So for somebody that wants to buy a Bugatti, they can buy from us. Um, that picture there's an error on the picture for some reasons the Bugatti does not yeah. want us to use it let's use a Benz so 
So this is mainly for demonstration purposes. Don't go and be copying pictures online. You can get into trouble by just using some random pictures. Make sure you have the right to use the picture you're using. Okay, so once I change the slideshow, let me check to see how immediately you change it, it's going to be changing on showing on the website. Okay, so you see this is the get, this is the slideshow we just added. Now we need to add three slideshows. Okay, uh, that is why it's saying one over three over here. Okay, so I'm going to add another one. Sell your car. We can help you get quick cash for your car. Okay, now let's see. Um, this one. going to use this one Where is it? So once I'm done, I save. I can go back. You see, it's changed to two over three now. That means I've added two slideshows. Let me check to see what we have now. You'll see that the content is now coming up on the site. So I have the buy, get your car now, sell your car now. Okay. So let's add one more slideshow. have the best cars we have the best deals on cars title should be short so Let's use this one. So part of building your site is selecting the best pictures. The pictures should be clear the pictures should be very clear and they should be large enough so that they don't get blurry when they appear on your site. If you have a site with some ugly looking pictures, your site will appear ugly. It's just as simple as that. Okay, so now we have the best deal on cars. Sell your car. A slideshow is perfect. Now let's go to the next one, which is service. Okay, we had three services. First one is buy a car. We 
we sell the best cars and we can reuse some of these old pictures okay or we can just upload another one um, if I want to do a Some, of pictures, some pictures like this too can work in this situation. And doesn't pictures like this to work a lot of time? So now I'm going to add service. Sometimes your service will act for you to enterprise. It's um voluntary. So I'm gonna leave it blank. That's service one. Service two is sell your car. That's another service. to be fast let me just continue to use old pictures then testimonials okay let's let's just add to third service which is um Uh, let's change your car your car for another one you're gonna be needing plenty pictures okay you are going to be needing plenty of pictures so you will need to find the kind of the right kind of picture that depicts what you are trying to do so and the best way to get your picture is to go on google and start finding pictures new service now let me add this so it's asking me to add three services and i think it's the third one good right now it goes to testimonial the testimonial is the title should probably be best car seller dealer in town uh, thank you for a great service. I am enjoying my car. So, you use a cover photo. This is a testimonial. The cover photo should be a human being. It's a human being that is giving the testimonial. So, usually, it should be a picture of the person that is giving the testimonial. So let's see if we can get a picture of 
a fine looking per a fine looking guy. Um okay, he's a fine boy. Let's use him. Okay, so um testimonial one done, testimonial two uh I got a good deal. Another person's picture, a frame. That's how you keep hiding the content one after the other. Uh, testimonial, the third testimonial will be. Now, while we're doing this, let's check out how this is shaping our website. After we're done with the. Let's see how our site looks now. You see? It's showing the contents now and you see the testimonial is here good so we need one more testimony then packages then blog then you know so we are almost there so then let us say testimonial title is I recommend this. If you want to get a car, consult by a car Niger. They are the best. Okay. Let's see who. Another fine boy. Now we are done with testimonial. Let's go to products. Okay. I want to sell a car. Let's see what kind of car we can sell now. Benz X class. I don't know if that's S class anyway. Best Benz in town. How much is it? Twenty thousand. It was thirty thousand. Now it's twenty thousand. So how many do I have in stock? I have ten in stock. I click on save. Okay, my second product now is um, Audi B500. I don't know if there's any car like that. Super turbo engine. Cover photo. I'm just trying to be as fast as possible. Um, the purpose of this is to demonstrate for us. This one used to be fifty thousand. Now it is twenty-five thousand. Then I have ten. I have seventeen in stock. One more product, and we are set. Um. What other car do I have? Paragon Honda it's forty five Super Two Lux. Yeah. 
speed yes and this one is 75,000 used to be now 60,000 and I have just two in stock now I'm done with the product now article this is more like a blog post kind of thing so I look at my article then I'll say we the first article is we are launching our website soon. Thank you so much, our customers. We will be launching soon. And then can I use Is on picture and then we cannot do the write up. Welcome to our website, blah blah blah. Then we go to save. Then on team member, I really really feel like skipping all these ones. Team member is more like you want to add one of the team members. So team member title is you know, like the name of the person. So Ayola Falala the CEO uh, graduate of architecture and federal University of Technology Accra blah 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 so my cover photo here should be a photograph of um, of the person so I'm gonna go out there to look for the picture um, Okay, so now so many other options available to this one includes the position. I'm, I'm the CEO now. Why not? My name is Ayola Falala. Then I can now add the other details like the Facebook URL and call and so on and so forth. So I'm done with the team member. I just added one blog post and I added one team member. Let's check what my site looks like now. Now I have all my um, now testimonial there. The packages you see, you now see the things for sale now. The Benz, the Audi, and the Paragon Honda. They're looking so good. Then you have the blog. You see, we're launching our website soon. This is where the second one is going to be. If I had the second one, um, and the the video that may be about our service this is what the video would be about so if we had changed the video this is what it would be saying over here okay so um that is basically how to build your site it's pretty much easy right yeah so um with this you'll see that the um, you can your own site are expected to complete everything to add all the content you need to add when you're done it's going to give you an option to share your website on all social media so pretty much easy right so um, coming back to the panel here I am done with the new website wizard I can close this now so if I want to go back to my website once I log into page carton I can I can come to manage sites which is going to bring a list of all the sites that I have created by the way on page carton you can create as many sites as you want on the same account it's free okay now you see that the domain name the name you use to access this site is using dot uh, pagecarton.com if you want to get your own uh, domain name like buyacar.com or buyacar.com.ng then you are going to have to upgrade your account now upgrading your account 
it's pretty much easy and it's not it's not it's very affordable you know for as low as 900 naira per month which is almost around 10,000 naira per month you can get your own um premium account that will get your own www.com or whatever so uh, you can just choose whichever one fits your budget um, after which you can uh, you can have your own domain name and everything you're going to be able to pay with your credit cards so that being said there are so many other options available to uh, people that pay for their website okay but the basic one is just fine you don't really need to pay uh, to use your website you can you can start with if you don't have the money right now you can always start with the free one and then once you grow um you grow you can always buy the uh the paid version so i hope this was helpful i want to thank you so much for joining me on this class if you have any question i'll take your question uh so you you are able to tweet your question to me at ayola ayola falala is my handle go follow me on twitter follow me on instagram follow me on you can add me up on facebook okay so if you have any question as well you can use the contact form over here to contact uh, us at page pattern we are going to uh, get you the support that you need okay so um you can as well check if the domain name you want to use is available which let's say i want to check it by uh, a car niger.com and i click on continue registration it's going to tell me oh buy a car niger.com is available so i can continue registration and buy it okay so thank you very much for your time i am going to i, I look for i'm going to send you a message that contain uh, information about how to continue from here so that you can do more with your website so that you can um you can get traffic for your website so that you can um, pay money on your website you can had collect credit card payments on your website you know things like that okay so i'm gonna get back to you on how to go about that thank you so much bye